is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 4th of November. I'm James Spann. Temperatures today really getting close to record levels, but big changes for the weekend. Rain on the way. Cooler next week. A lot of things to talk about. So here we go. Cold upper trough in the western U.S. A lot of snow in the mountains. That's the way it looked at Flagstaff, Arizona, at the National Weather Service Forecast Office this morning. At that point, they had about three inches on the ground. But around here, we are nice and warm, toasty. That's a visible satellite view. You can see a pretty good uh, bit of sunshine through parts of southwest, central, and northeast Alabama. Persistent clouds linger over the northwestern counties and parts of east Alabama. Where the sun is out, it is indeed warm. Tuscaloosa hitting 80. That's within three of the record high for November 4th. Birmingham 78, Anniston 76. We'll expect similar warmth tomorrow and Friday, but much cooler air arrives late this weekend. And around the nation, back in the cold air with a trough, you can see only 30s and 40s at mid-afternoon. And again, a good bit of mountain snow, winter storm warnings in effect for the Colorado Rockies, winter weather advisories for the mountains of New Mexico, Arizona, Wyoming, Nevada. And the warm sector flash flood watches in effect for parts of Texas, including Dallas-Fort Worth. Here's the convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Marginal severe weather risks for parts of Texas and up into the plains around uh, parts of West Oklahoma and Kansas. Then tomorrow, this uh, should be the most active day with the severe weather, a slight risk. That's the standard risk from the Texas Hill Country on up through Arkansas and parts of Oklahoma. This includes Austin, Waco, Dallas-Fort Worth, Shreveport, Texarkana, and Little Rock. And then a marginal risk all the way up into Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan, including St. Louis and Chicago. And then on day three, which is Friday, there is a marginal risk into the northern third of Alabama, roughly along and north of Interstate 59. I think in the better dynamic support will be north of here. We'll watch trends, of course. This is the fall tornado season, but I'd say the risk is not really overwhelming. Here's the rain for the next five days. Valid through Monday evening of next week, and the numbers are higher now for North Alabama. This is suggesting rain amounts around two inches in spots. We'll say one to two inches, and the bulk of that will be Friday, Saturday, maybe into early Sundays, you'll see. Let's take it day by day. This is the GFS, the 12Z run valid tomorrow at 12 noon at 500 millibars. Very high amplitude look. Big trough in the west, big ridge in the east. And obviously, there's going to be a big thermal contrast. we got a deep surface low that's over Minnesota with a trailing front. And again, there could be some active convection on that front. Down into Texas, parts of East Oklahoma and Arkansas, and those storms could be severe. For us, uh, tomorrow, like today, intervals of sun, highs upper 70s. And again, the NAM is showing 82 for Birmingham. If we hit that, that'll be very close to record territory. And the chance of a shower, not zero, but very small. Any showers, very widely spaced. Friday, the trough lifting out. Down below that, the surface front extends from a low near Hudson Bay down to Memphis and about College Station in Austin, Texas. And in advance of that, we should begin to see an increase in showers and possible thunderstorms Friday afternoon and Friday night. But, you know, Friday we'll probably see the sun out at times. And again, very mild uh, or warm, maybe a better term for November with highs uh, in the upper 70s. Some spots may be touching 80, much like today. Uh, there is a definite chance of showers and storms for the high school football playoff games Friday night. Keep that in mind. All right, weekend warriors, here we go. This is Saturday. The GFS now slowing it down in much better agreement with the European and in line with our forecast. Uh, the GFS has the front near the northwestern tip of the state. This is Saturday at noon. Uh, much of the state should be in rain. Not going to rain all day, but periods of rain, maybe some thunder. Saturday at 6 o'clock, that front just not moving much. Uh, and this is suggesting rain continues Saturday night. So, again, we've got rain in the forecast for the Alabama-LSU game, and that jives up nicely with that. And then Sunday, dry air begins to work in. We check the European Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, and it's uh, pretty close to the uh, GFS, depicting a pretty good bit of rain around here. And again, there could easily be some thunder. So uh, for the Alabama-LSU game, clearly a good chance of rain at times, possibly a thunderstorm. Take the rain gear. Uh, now, 
Auburn is in College Station, Texas. And uh, you can see there that the weather conditions uh, should not be as wet. Just maybe their showers will be ending by game time. They kick off at 630. We'll mention a chance of lingering showers into the first half just in case. All right, let's go to next week. This is Monday. Now, the GFS tries to bring this little fetch of moisture in from the from the Atlantic with uh, some chance of light rain. Uh, and it's got a high of only 59 for Birmingham because of that. We are not buying into that at this point. We're going to leave Monday dry and mostly sunny with highs in the 60s. We'll wait on future runs to see if we need to make that adjustment. Tuesday, cool and dry. Lows in the 40s, highs in the 60s. And this is Wednesday. Here comes our next trough. Down below that, deep surface low. I mean, that's a 995 millibar low this near Minneapolis-St. Paul with the trailing front. This is late Wednesday night of next week, uh, midnight Wednesday night. Surface low drops to 981 millibars, the witch of November. Remember the song, the historic wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. That looks howling up through there through the Great Lakes and Again, a cold front coming in here with a with a chance of showers and storms. And again, those storms could pack a pretty good punch here late Wednesday night of next week. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. This is the end of the forecast, Saturday the 14th of November. Trough sweeping through. That air looks dry. And you can see temperatures for the next 15 days. Uh, after this warmth this week, we'll see noticeably cooler air next week with highs mostly in the 60s and lows mostly in the 40s. And again, we see those numbers pretty close to average values for uh, the rest of the forecast period. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.